Hello everyone, my name is Debra Dogba. Welcome to Afro Swag Media and Magazine. Today I have Desiree here. I'll let her tell us who she is. Hello everyone, my name is Desiree Gesson. I'm the founder of Small and Anointed, um, and it's a non profit organization. Organization. And what we do, we connect and encourage um, Christian entrepreneurs in our community here. Mm -hmm. And we, through, you know, prayer, and also we want them to expand their business knowledge mm -hmm. um, and succeed in their calling. Mm -hmm. So it's small and anointed. Yes. Where does the name come from? What's behind the name? Well, so small will mean small businesses. Okay. Because entrepreneurs will start small, you know, mm -hmm. as startup, and then anointed because it's uh, we want to be um, faith-based, so religious organization. Okay. So you know, anointed mean that you are anointing from God mm -hmm. to do a particular mission, mm -hmm. right? So that's where the, names, the name comes from. Okay, so small and anointing, it doesn't mean that um, you stay small, but there no. is room for growth and absolutely. expansion. Absolutely, okay. absolutely. All right. So that's where we come in, actually, because we know you start small. You start mm -hmm. as an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. We'll give you the tools to succeed, or we we'll give you the tools to, you know, expand, like I said, your business knowledge. So it's just that um, it's the stepping stone. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. It's a stepping stone. You start there. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you grow. Mm -hmm. Your, but it will ha you have to grow. Mm -hmm. Right? Knowledge comes from you. So we'll give you the tools, but you have to expand your knowledge as well, meaning read a lot mm -hmm. about the topics in your industry. Mm -hmm. So small and anointing is the stepping stone. Okay. And you have um, a workshop coming up? I do have okay. a workshop uh, coming on uh, the Cups Cafe mm -hmm. uh, on North 30th okay. in Omaha. And we do meet every month. Mm -hmm. So if you miss this one, know that there will be another one in March mm -hmm. and the following month. So what's the topic of the next workshop? We want to teach you how, as an entrepreneur, to um, you know, deal with your own finances. I read something, and one of the, uh, you know, a coach on my coach online said that you cannot mix the, your spouse and your girlfriend. So you need to know how to differentiate your personal income from your business income. It's very important, mm -hmm. right? Second, you want to know how to manage your business finances. It's, it's important. You know, when your, your sales comes in or you have, uh, you know, you, you sell a lot of product, let's say that, and then you have an income, you want to make sure that you are able to pay for your expenses. Mm -hmm. It's very important. So as a startup, sometimes we don't know where to go. We use our money, we buy some inventory. We don't really know where to stand. So when you come to, my, to our workshop, where we are going to teach you, one, how to manage your personal finances as an entrepreneur to your business finances, how to manage your, you know, to read a cash flow state report, how to read uh, an income statement, mm -hmm. what is a profit margin. So we are going to talk about those things, but I promise you it will not be like big terms. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are going to make it really easy, mm -hmm. all right? Um, the second thing, um, we have an idea, but how do we finance? that the business uh, that we have. Um, we are going to talk about many, many things. Okay. So if I say everything here, <laughs> <laughs> they might I not want to come. <laughs> <laughs>
a guest speaker, a very knowledgeable guest speaker. Mm -hmm. And I want to point out here that all the workshops are only 150 minutes. Because I know that Saturdays are usually to run errands, so mm -hmm. I will not, you know, hold you or take too much of your time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell me a little bit about your background. Like, sure. um, I know for a fact you and your husband, mm -hmm. you pastor a church yes. here in Amen. town, mm -hmm. and then you do business. Yes. So this idea came from, um, the Lord laid that on my heart since 2013. At the time I was living in Dallas, mm -hmm. and I was an accountant there and all that. And um, the funny thing is, um, let me go back to my dad for a minute. Okay. My dad is a very successful entrepreneur. He mm -hmm. has um, two businesses. One is a consulting one, and then the other one is uh, he is in real estate. Mm -hmm. So, Deborah, I didn't know that I have that love of business in me. I am practically the only child mm -hmm. that likes that entrepreneurial life. Mm -hmm. My other siblings are working, and I do, I work full time too, but this is the life that I feel comfortable in. Mm -hmm. So I started in 2013, actually even 2011, because mm -hmm. I wanted to do a translation service because I speak French. Mm -hmm. So in 2011, I thought about starting a uh, translation service mm -hmm. uh, business. Of course, it did not work out because the first time <laughs> an entrepreneur, I mean, the idea never really works at the first time. Mm -hmm. you, you have to have like trials and yes. errors and to be able to continue. Mm -hmm. Comes 2013, 2013, I was praying and the Lord laid on my heart to gather some women. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, but how am I going to do that? Mm -hmm. So I rented a, a hotel space and stuff, a banquet, a banquet space, mm -hmm. and I said, okay, let me just you know, share the idea with some women. and So that's how I started. So I shared the idea with my church and the women and stuff. And about 10, 12 women showed up. Wow. So they paid for it. Mm -hmm. And then we were in the Holiday Inn back in Dallas. So that's how it started. I said, OK. And of course, you get married, you, you, know, you get busy and, and all that. So I was mm -hmm. not able to continue mm -hmm. um, with the other um, events and stuff. And now, today, mm -hmm. in, 29, in, 20, in 2020, mm -hmm. um, the idea came again. Mm -hmm. And this time, it was more like you need to do, you need to gather the Christian entrepreneurs, whether they are male or female. Mm -hmm. You need to show them um, that they can do it. Mm -hmm you know, mm -hmm. that they can uh, open up their own shops, mm -hmm. that they can um, succeed in the entrepreneurial journey. Mm -hmm. But it has to be through prayer. Okay. It has to be through having faith mm -hmm. in the Lord. Mm -hmm. It has to be um, getting them to know more about business. Even it has to be get to get them um, you know, um, like be that liaison for them. Mm -hmm. So small and anointing is a liaison. I'm just there to be, mm -hmm. like I said, a stepping stone mm -hmm. so that I can connect with the professional mm -hmm. and also the startup. Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned about me and my husband leading a, uh, a church. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. Okay. Um, it's on, actually the name is the Overcomers Church. And we've, we have about 60 plus members. Mm -hmm. um, we started back in 2015. Mm -hmm. um, at the time it was, I was in Dallas and it was, it was here. Um, so yeah, that's, why I, that's how I got in Omaha. <laughs>
<laughs> so you said also that you had a job. I do. What do you do? I am an I am a grant accountant. Grant accountant. Uh huh. Okay. I work for Heartland Family Service. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. So the nonprofit so is what I like to do. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm more connecting. It connects me with people, mm -hmm. and I I like that. And the funny thing, when I was driving, I said, well, you're an introvert. How come you like to be connected with other people? You mm -hmm. know, because introverts, we get tired very easily, mm -hmm. you know, with all those activities. But I actually like being in that industry, the nonprofit industry, because it makes you value other people. Mm -hmm. um, it makes you value life. Mm -hmm. And I, I really enjoy what I'm do I do. So I see a lot of um, live streaming yes. on Facebook mm -hmm. about one of your other businesses. Mm -hmm. Do you want to talk about it? Owner with paparazzi. Mm -hmm. So I sell five dollars jewelry, ladies. Um, I love it. <laughs> so I absolutely love it. I love selling the jewelry. I think the jewelry is awesome, awesome, and. Funny story again, I was thinking, why do you have, that, I mean, one, you are selling jewelry, mm -hmm. the other one, you are the liaison, you know, between, like I said, the professionals and the entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. and I'd say, well, there's, really, there's one thing that the Lord wants you to do, you sell confidence. Mm -hmm. I sell self-confidence. That's what I am in, in both of my, of my in my non-profit and then mm -hmm. the, um, the, uh, the jewelry, uh, I mean, the business. Mm -hmm. So I, I like it. I like the way you were able to um, do the analysis mm -hmm. to see what's common, what's the vision behind those mm -hmm. activities, mm -hmm. and you identify that you're selling confidence. Mm -hmm. That's a great brand. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We do need confidence no matter yes. what area of our lives we it do. is. We do need confidence. Wow. So is that one of the, yes. um, your collection? Yes, it's one of our collection. Okay. And then the good thing is it's $5 and it comes with a free pair of matching earrings. Nice. So, and then we sell bracelets, we sell earrings. May I give my website? Oh, sure. Absolutely. So it's www.womenarerubies.com. Okay. So um, you said something very um, interesting. You said you're an introvert person. Yes. And yet I see you do a lot of Facebook Live. This is, I think, my f anywhere from, I think it's my 50th video. So I have been doing this for the past maybe two years, 50 videos, and I don't know how I was able to do it. Because usually I don't like to speak in front of people. Mm -hmm. um, I am the quiet one. I always have been, but put me in an environment where I feel comfortable, you will really see the lion in me, you know? Mm -hmm. So I guess it shows that I really like mm -hmm. selling the jewelry. Mm -hmm. I really like being among the entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. because I think that we think alike, mm -hmm. and um, same vibe, mm -hmm. and uh, same goals. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, I, this is where I should be. <laughs> <laughs>
um, who you represent or what you represent. I mean, however you feel comfortable talking about the Black History Month. Um, it shows that um, definitely it should be celebrated because mm -hmm. And I co I'm come from I come from another culture, so mm -hmm. guys, be nice with me. <laughs> <laughs> I come from I I'm learning I am mm -hmm. learning that stuff, and then I see that black people have great minds too. Mm -hmm. You know, um, like I said, I read something on Facebook. Unfortunately, I cannot remember but right it's now. About but it's about achievement. It's about achievement. Mm -hmm. It's about um, you know. Um, loving your community mm -hmm. and I think it's really important um, they have done great things you think about Dr. Martin Luther King you mm -hmm. think about Rosa Parks mm -hmm. I mean they've done it for the community and I want to cross uh, make a point here same thing with what we are doing we cannot target everybody mm -hmm. as an entrepreneur mm -hmm. we cannot you have a niche, you have like a market segment. Mm -hmm. you, you are focusing on one peop, one you know, um, person, not person, but community. Mm -hmm. And that was very excellent and I was very happy to see what those black male and female mm -hmm. personalities were able to accomplish. Mm -hmm because they were focusing on their community, mm -hmm. you know, to make it move forward. And mm -hmm. I think that was very, very good. And honestly, um, when you talk about the American history and America itself, mm -hmm. I mean, the story cannot be told without the black community. No, no. So it's very no. important that, I mean, um, the month of February is yeah. dedicated to honor those great achievements yep. and those people. Mm -hmm. um, any last words? Um, I think I want to leave you with five, in, five important values that I have learned from my dad. Mm -hmm. um, my dad is still alive and now that I, uh, I have my kids on my own, my own family, mm -hmm. now I get to sit down and think about what he has done. Mm -hmm. And I realize that if you want to succeed in that field, you have to have those characteristics. Mm -hmm. And one is you have to be a family man or a family or a woman. Mm -hmm. Two, you have to not be afraid to take risk. Mm -hmm. He was never afraid. He failed multiple times, multiple times. Mm -hmm. But he was able, to, out of those trial and errors, he was mm -hmm. able to pull out two very successful uh, companies now. Mm -hmm. um, three, you have to read like crazy. My dad will read like crazy. Mm -hmm. So if you're an entrepreneur out there and you watching that video, you'll be watching that uh, video. Mm -hmm. I want you to read any type of books. Mm -hmm. Don't be like a small-minded people, like a close-minded mm -hmm. person. No, you will not succeed. You have to read a lot. Mm -hmm. Now we have Audible. Me, as soon as I get in my car, mm -hmm. I will put um, a book. Mm -hmm. I will like put my Audible, get on that app, and then you know, just listen to a good book. Mm -hmm. It can be on religion, it can be on entrepreneurship, it can be on marriage, whatever it is, but you have to read like crazy. Mm -hmm. The three, the fourth thing, he never said something bad about himself. Mm -hmm. Very, very confident. Mm -hmm. So as an entrepreneur, you want to make sure that you are very, very, very uh, confident mm -hmm. even though you know that sometimes you make mistakes mm -hmm. but in front of your customers or in front of the crowd you want to make sure that you keep that image mm -hmm. being self-confident mm -hmm. even the way you speak mm -hmm. he never curses his life he never said something bad to himself mm -hmm. he was always up and ready mm -hmm. and yeah those are the values that I have wow. learned yeah. Very valuable. Thank you so much for being Thank on you. the show. Thank you Thank so much, you, Deborah, for having me. <laughs> this was Afro Swag Media and Magazine. Bye-bye.